Hello friends, this is Nick from Anobi Solutions and today we are continuing with the next lab from the series which is going to be on creating folders in the vCenter server appliance. So for the purpose of this video I will need again my domain controller for authentication, I will need my storage server that you can see right here for storage and I'm going to use this server to connect and manage to the vCenter server using a browser and I have powered on my two ESXi hosts. So um, last time we looked into the web client, the difference between the vSphere web client and the vSphere HTML5 version. For this video we are going to continue using the uh, vSphere client because it has more functionality for now. So we, of course you can use the other one if you want to get familiar with it as well. Um, I think this video is going to be straightforward and plain simple and everyone can use it. So um, yeah, let me log into the uh, vSphere client and uh, we can start creating the folders. Okay, so um, the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to power off my virtual machine, one of my virtual machines because I don't use it and I'm going to use power. Always shut down the guest OS if you have installed um, the uh, VMware um, integration uh, plugin. You will be able to gracefully shut down an operating system instead of turning it off, um, as this is going to completely turn off like there was a power outage for the machine. So let me close that down. Now that my virtual machine is off, uh, we are going to continue. And the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to show how to create a folder, which is <laughs> straightforward, right click and create, but uh, create a folder for the um, hosts and clusters. And why, for example, would you need a folder for the um, hosts and clusters? And this is because um, let's say that you will have one host that is um, for one department and you have uh, one host or two hosts for another department and to make things more easy to manage to make things more visible it's always a good idea to uh, try to separate them as much as possible and you can see you have different options uh, if you right click on the uh, data center you have the, the option to create a new host and cluster folder which is what I'm going to use and let's say that my folder is going to be called a um, main again uh, the annoying bug where I cannot type anything uh, let me try to fix that just copy and paste something again it's not working oh there it is it is now so um, main office and OK. And this is going to create the folder for me, which is going to be called main office. And it's going to be empty at the moment. So what I can do is with the um, vSphere client, you have the option to drag and drop. So if you pick up an item and just hold on that item, you will see that uh, near my mouse cursor, there is a red X saying that I cannot move in there. But if I go to the main office, you will see that this will change to a green plus, which tells me that I'm able to drag and drop it. So if I put it in here, now my host will be a part of the main office folder. So if I close that down, Okay, it took some time to do it, <laughs> but yeah, at the end we are we are getting there. So right now I have one folder which is called main office and I have one ESXi host in the main office. And for example, I want to create another folder that is going to be called back office. Yeah, again, not able to write anything. Let me try. Okay. Okay. I'll create that as well. 
and we'll move my second SXI host in there. Okay, so it did it a bit faster. So you can see right away that I have a separation. So instead of main office and back office, you can have, for example, New York office, you can have uh, Chicago office or different places uh, that you can uh, store different hosts if they are uh, ge geographically separated and they are being combined by the vCenter server in general. So this is a handy way for you to uh, uh, separate the hosts and make them look and uh, manage them better to have them in different containers instead of a single one. The next thing that we are going to look at is the um, VMs and templates folder and this is again going to help you with uh, separating different components that uh, instead of having them on a single location you can for example you can have a different uh, VM template for the um, Chicago office and different VM template for the New York's office and instead of having them into a single location or you can have a template folder in general that you can use a standardized uh, template for everything but yeah you will need to go into the VMs and templates and you can see um, there is a bit difference um, the the hosts and clusters folders are not visible uh, on, when you click on the VMs and templates and there is a difference uh, between the VMs and templates folders and the host and clusters. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to right click once again and create a new folder, which is going to be new VMs and template templates folder. And the folder is going to be, if I can write once again, okay, again doing some tricks on me, but uh, I'm not sure if. Uh, it is aware that I'm smarter than the system. <laughs> of course not. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to make uh, gener generalized templates folder and click OK. And within this template uh, folder, I can store different templates, for example, that uh, I have for different virtual machines that are gener generalized, which means that I've sysprepped them and stored them in there so they can be used for creating virtual machines in the future. But um, yeah, if I want, I can create a folder for my VMs, which is going to be, again, okay. call that main office and within main office I can just move my virtual machine so there you go now I have under my main office my virtual machine and from there if I click on the uh, main office you will see that uh, I have a summary of what is within this folder, what is the uh, resource usage at the moment and I have different monitoring options and depending on how many uh, machines you have, you will have different statistics that are combined for these machines that you can that you can look at uh, in here. You can even set different permissions and so on and so on. So uh, yeah, this is in general how you can uh, configure <laughs> Of files and uh, how you can configure files, how you can configure folders and uh, the difference between the host and cluster folder and the difference between virtual machine and templates folder and what of course you can use them in the day-to-day -day administration uh, working with uh, the vCenter server. This was Nick from NLB Solutions. This is a short video. I know you're not used to it but we try to keep it short. This was Nick from NLB Solutions. Thank you very much for viewing. If you like the video series, hit the, time, the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so you receive a notification as soon as I upload a new video. Don't forget to share if you like the videos. Uh, speak with your friend administrators, work with the videos, try to improve them. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And uh, again, thank you very much for viewing and see you in the next lab.